Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and today we welcome a new brand on our channel. Yay! Today we will be discussing Bourjois and we have quite a few products to discuss, so let's get it started. So, Bourjois has a very interesting history in general and they were already present in the UK, but then they left and now they are back and it's very interesting because I have never seen bourgeois in physical stores in the UK. However, when I went to traveling to Hungary, I saw bourgeois in every drugstore shop. So I got curious and I'm very, very excited about those products. I have to let you know that this video is not a first impression video. I have been using those products for a few weeks now and I'm very happy to share my thoughts. Let's start with the bronzer. The bronzer and the packaging, they look absolutely gorgeous and amazing. It is called, actually, blusher, <laughs> but I use it as a bronzer. This is in a shade 85CN Rose Blossom. Huh? I absolutely adore the shade and I use it as a bronzer. And by the way, the drugstore, it was very strange because they have the same packaging for blushes, bronzer, highlighters and single eyeshadows and uh, on testers they have those physical testers that you can swatch but they don't really write down what the product is and what shade it is and those packages were sealed that is why I did a guessing game what was a bronzer, what was a blush and yeah, maybe I was wrong, but yes, I use this shade as a bronzer and the shade works perfectly as a bronzer. Inside it has a cute little mirror, a brush and a small paper thing where they save it. For 150 years, Bourjois Big Technology Process has offered women a blusher with a fine light texture, incredibly transparent and perfect for blending. The irresistible shades always give a healthy glow and natural results per Paris. Something is wrong with the texture, because uh, when I first started using it, it was fine, but now it gives almost no pigment. I tried to scratch the surface, but see, it is not pigmented at all. I can't really do a swatch for you, this is why I am very, very disappointed. Another thing which I don't know, why are they doing this? Why do they put this? weird strange brush the brush does absolutely nothing and i couldn't help but notice that um if we speak about drugstore makeup this is actually a little bit pricey and i spent quite a lot of money and when i have a look at this gorgeous amazing packaging and i see this brush i can't help but think that maybe it would be nicer not to have this brush and maybe to have a little bit um, a less expensive price point, but it's just only me. I don't know, the brush is stiff, the bristles are sharp, and I don't really like this feeling of uh, this brush touching my face. So, if you don't mind, we will move on and apply this product using my normal, ordinary brushes. I try my best in order to get the product on the brush, and uh, I'm not really successful. Let's try and maybe I see the tiniest tiniest hue of bronzed glow on my face and is it matte or shiny I would say that this is a matte product with the tiniest tiniest sparkles but on the skin it looks like a matte product let's move on and discuss real blush. This product I use is a blush. It is called Duo Blush Color Sculpting Light Shade, Dark Shade. So it is in a shade 01 in Sepa Roses, made in Italy by the way. And they say that lighter shade should be applied like on the top part of our cheekbones and dark shade should be applied on the lower part of our cheekbones and yeah inside we see the mirror again this brush again i won't even try this paper with the same layers here and this is a baked blush and it contains two shimmery shades one light pink and one dark pink i'm not quite sure how i'm supposed to collect those shades with my fluffy brush 
and uh, you know separate one shade from another shade we will mix them together and apply um, on my brush and uh, despite it being the same formula blush actually just a little bit more pigmented than our previous blush slash bronzer and it gives the perfect very nice pink shade to it so let's apply it with our brush we actually see something on our brush and yeah with the brush we can see that it applies a little bit better than our previous product which is quite nice i really like this product i really like the shade and i don't know i really like this tiny roundy small little package i think that the shade is very very pretty i hope you can see it on my face this is not the end of our makeup application because the next product which we will be discussing is bourgeois ombre up pop ears i guess that this is a french brand because everything is in french here in the shade 01 blanc bouton i'm sorry if i'm killing the name <laughs> i don't know french high color intensity up to 12 hours highlighter <laughs> by the way every round the product here it has a magnet inside which is quite convenient and Inside we have a mirror, we don't have this brush and we don't have this paper, which is quite interesting for me. And here we have, I would say, a modern texture because just look at it! The texture and the finish of this product reminds me Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Bomb highlighters a lot, so... I think that this is a perfect dupe. I prefer to apply this product with my finger and just look at it. Are we sure that this is a drugstore product? I'm so much impressed. Let's blend it out with my Dumb Beauty Blender. And actually, I'm not a huge fan of highlighters, but this highlighter I adore very, very much. And this highlighter I use every day. Let's make my other cheek pretty with this gorgeous and beautiful highlighter i just love how it looks let's move on we have four more products to discuss can you believe this i think that the next product which we will be discussing will be this eyeshadow palette uh, this eyeshadow palette is called coupe de fondre <laughs> volume glamour eyeshadow palette it has six shades it is in a shade 03 cute look and what do they say intense colors to create a bold makeup look it has 0 0.4 grams made in china and previous products were made in oh this brown let's call it bronzer bronzer was made in france blush was made in in italy and highlighter was made in Italy. I have one more eyeshadow which we will be applying today. I have already used this one, so I will just tell you my review. And my review is that, unfortunately, I didn't like this eyeshadow palette at all. I think that this is quite an old-fashioned product with old-fashioned formulas. And, you know, currently there are so many affordable eyeshadow palettes which reflect the needs of modern person what i mean is that for example those shades are very neutral this is shimmery this one is a shimmer and all of the shades are mud and if you have a look at this palette you clearly see that it lacks uh, inner corner highlighter for example or this uh, brown shade is not pigmented enough to create a wing eyeliner and shimmers are quite dry and they are not very sparkly so you can't really create a modern nice and cool makeup look yes you can still use it it you know the textures are fine they are just a little bit patchy and they have quite a lot of fallout but i don't know i just didn't feel comfortable using this eyeshadow palette and moving on we have one more very interesting eyeshadow palette to discuss this is uh, one second there <laughs> eyeshadow instant smoky look 
and it has uh, 3 grams or 0 0.11 ounces made in Italy. It is in the shade 05 half nude and what is it? It is basically an amazing tool for us if you can't, for example, use eyeshadows, you don't have time. What is it? It has an applicator and those are our eyeshadows. You insert the applicator in the eyeshadow, move the applicator Move the applicator Move the applicator from left to right, collect the eyeshadow on your stamp and then you basically put the stamp on your eye and that's it. So let's <laughs> let's do this. And yes, I have already used this product and I know how to apply it without making a mess. So while applying it please be careful and not to drag it on your eyelid at all because it will result in eyeshadow being everywhere outside of your eye which is not very nice see this is our first eye let me just a little bit apply this smoky grayish purple shade on the lower lash line and we have our other eye it has a little bit of fallout but it is not something drastic and what I'm curious about is that on our eye the order of shadows is quite weird because at first we have dark matte shade then we go light gray shimmer shade and then we have like another brighter shimmer shade which is not the water which i would apply my eyeshadows but i guess that as a result it looks quite nice so why not let me do this again and we instantly see that it creates a little bit of mess right so it is not a complete makeup look that is why i like to take my fluffy brush and just a little bit blend out edges and maybe blend out a little bit the eyeshadows themselves. This blends quite well so I don't see any problem here. And yeah, this was our quick and easy smoky eye look. And actually at first I was hesitant about this product because I don't know it doesn't seem very modern too but on the other hand at the same time I found myself using this eyeshadow quite a lot when I don't have time and I don't want to be creative I just want to throw something on my eye it is quick it is easy it looks very very nice they have some kind of variety of this uh, product of these shades on the shelves and I just like the color story of this product they are long wearing they are long lasting and if you um, try several times you will figure out how to use it without making a complete mess and I don't know I just like it I think this is a very cool and nice and gorgeous idea and <laughs> I really like this product but this is not the end of our video because we have two more products left. This is Ultra Mascara by Bourjois Paris. The idea behind this mascara is that you have one wand but you can twist the tip of the applicator and one wand magically transforms into <laughs> another wand and on the packaging they say that uh, it gives length and lift and volume and they don't really say uh, which position does what. I really like use this scrunched, twisted <laughs> option because I think that it does something on my eyes and because it's not a first impression video I would tell you that I am so much in love with this mascara and very very impressed. It gives gorgeous curl, gorgeous volume and it holds the curve for quite a while so I ended up using this mascara every day. I really really like it. It works perfectly for my lashes. The only thing is that this mascara distributes itself on my eyelid but this is fine. And we have the last product to discuss. Can you believe this? 
The last product which we will be discussing will be Rouge Edition Velvet uh, uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in a shade 27 Cafe All Hair this is in the shade 27 Velvet. This is the exact dupe for Rare Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Courage. I really like the texture, it is not drying and from what I know these matte liquid lipsticks are iconic and people have been using these and have been loving them for many many years. I have been wearing it for several videos now and I really like it. I think that this is a perfect nude shade. It doesn't dry out leaves. It has this moussey texture and I'm just a fan of this lipstick. Our final thoughts. First of all, let's discuss our bronzer and blush because they are the same thing. So, I really like the idea behind the packaging. I really like the shades, but unfortunately I don't like the textures. I think that the textures are very, very dry. It's impossible to apply them with a brush or with, I don't know, with your hands. And despite me thinking that shades are amazing and perfect and beautiful, unfortunately I just can't recommend those products because I think that this is the waste of money and you won't be able to use them because they are just not pigmented. They look very pretty and if I would choose between those two products, I would choose this one just because this is a little bit more pigmented than this one. Highlighter, I would 100% recommend it. This is very bright, very cool, very magnificent, I think, for the price point. <laughs> the product is just there. It has a high-end... Uh, uh, quality and the texture is very modern, up-to-date and unique and I really like this product. Pink uh, volume glamour eyeshadow palette unfortunately I can't recommend too. I think it is just old-fashioned palette, old-fashioned formulas and they don't serve the purpose and needs of our modern customer. That is why, that is why no, this eyeshadow palette, I wouldn't recommend it. However, <laughs> this uh, instant uh, smoky eye eyeshadow palette is a very amazing and gorgeous idea. If you are on a run, you don't have time to play with your eyeshadows, you just slap this stamp on your eyelid and basically you end up with a very nice makeup look. Of course, maybe this color story is not very bright and it just doesn't scream, hey, I'm here, but on the other hand, you can experiment with different palettes. I think that they have several shades of them. And yeah, I really like the texture of this eyeshadow. They blend really, really well. It's very easy to clean up the mess. And actually, yes, it takes just a couple of seconds to apply them on your eye. Mascara. I have tried this mascara for several times. I have been using this for several weeks now and I really like the formula of this mascara. It works perfectly well for my lashes. It keeps length and curl and it doesn't clump my lashes. However, I'm not really sure about this twisty applicator. I'm not really sure if it um, um, gives any difference uh, to the lashes and it works differently or lashes if you tweet this mascara brush or not but at the same time I give this product the benefit of doubt because I know that quite a few brands they have those twisty tips for mascaras and maybe for my lashes there was no difference but at the same time maybe for different lashes there will be some difference and the formula is amazing so yes I would 100% recommend this mascara and the last product is our cute little Rouge Edition Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 27 Velvet. This is a dupe for Rare Beauty Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This liquid lipstick has 7.7 milliliters and Rare Beauty Full Size Liquid Lipstick has like 3.8 milliliters. So this cute little guy, I don't know, just screams to me by me not rare beauty but at the same time yes the formulas are identical the shade is identical to rare beauty courage a smart lip cream this is long wearing this doesn't transfer to teeth and yeah this doesn't dry out lips and they have a lot of shades they have just crazy amount and variety of shades so yeah this is just an amazing product and i would 
definitely recommend it. So it was all for me for today. Please let me know what I thought about Bourjois brand, have you tried their products or not, what I thought about the products which we have already discussed today. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or recommendations of what can we unbox or review together. Please be safe, take care. I honestly care about you so 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 much and see you in my next videos. Bye!